Okay, uh, this is the start of our series on classic camping, sewing, how to. Okay, I have convinced you to buy a sewing machine, I assume. Day after tomorrow, we're going to show our first video, the first skill, the first thing that you can make. But before we do that, let me give you some advice. Number one, first and foremost, don't let my YouTube videos be your only source of instruction on sewing. Right now on the Bannerman's Camp page, I can think of four people who are more qualified to tell you, to show you how to sew gear. I'm the only one with the YouTube channel. That's the only thing I got going for me. Okay? When it comes to sewing, I'm a piker. I am a wannabe. Okay? I have taught myself enough to get done what I want to get done and nothing more. I personally feel there's nothing wrong with that. And if that is your goal, go for it. Make what you want to make, learn what you need to learn to do it, and then keep making that stuff. And I'll tell you, you should be going to other YouTube channels. I learned how to sew by going to YouTube, okay? And every time I need to do something different, something new, I go looking on YouTube, okay? It's a magnificent resource for all sorts of reasons. Uh, so. Do that. Don't let me be the only. Let me be the only source on how to show you how to make a 1910 vintage clothing wallet from a sporting goods magazine. Okay, let me be that guy. All right. Now, as far as the order of the videos go, uh, the first video, as I said, you're going to make a thing. That I think is the most important video of all. Okay is to show you how to make something. Just a small thing, but it will be a thing that you have made. Okay, and it will teach you the most basic skill in sewing, and that's how to make a hem. The following videos are going to be aimed at, as an ultimate goal, the completion of this. This is what the clothing wallet looks like, full of clothing. This is what it looks like in the magazine article. Okay? Everything is aimed towards that, but along the way, you're going to be making other things so that you can practice the skills it takes to make this. Okay? It's actually a fairly simple project if you have any experience at all in sewing. You don't right now. So it's going to look like a complicated project. So I have chopped these videos up into small, about 10 minute segments with a couple minutes on either end of me just blathering about. So they're all about 15 minutes long. And rather than do, rather than do a two hour long video, I've broken it up into five segments. So the second segment is going to be, you're going to make more things. You're going to learn how I, cut fabric square and destroy cameras. Uh, and you're going to use the other sewing machine, the electric iron, more. That's one of the most, why I call that the other sewing machine. You're going to learn how to use that and you're going to see what you get out of it when you do. Okay, the third video is we're going to finish those things. We got to start on them in the second video. In the third video, we're going to make more things. Okay, we're going to finish those. And the size 
that they, they, these come out, it's all going to be you. You're going to decide what kind of thing to make when I show you these things. Okay? On the fourth video, we're going to start putting together the wallet. In the second video, we learned how to cut fabric square. We're going to use a square of fabric from that video as the main body, what you see here, the outside body of the clothing wallet. And I'm going to tell you, not show you, tell you how to cut the rest of the fabric. You're going to get more practice in using the other sewing machine. You're going to learn how to make sub-assemblies and how to pin them together prior to sewing so that you see what it looks like and determine what order these things need to be sewn in. And then the final video, that's going to be finishing up the clothing wallet so that you can stuff your clothing in it. And you can say, wow, you know those things I made before? Look at this thing! Okay? All right, we will see you the day after tomorrow. And every video will show on one day. There'll be a day in between, and then it'll show on the next, uh, the next video will show on the next day. Okay? They're going to be about three days apart. This will give you an opportunity to practice any of the skills that you have gotten from the video and to go out and buy more fabric if you think you want to make more things. Okay? Alrighty, we will see you day after tomorrow. Thank you.